Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool pinball arcade game video for you this evening. This is Williams 1989 Bad Cats. We've had this game for a long time and we just recently fixed it all up and we figured we'd film a video of it after we got done. So here we are. Now we did two other videos where we showed it working one more time, one more time where we showed us working through the uh, the um, electronics and everything, and then we did another video where we showed us doing the play field and all the cosmetics and stuff. So if you haven't seen those, why not go check them out? But we figured we'd do one final video of it, kind of showing, of course, how it plays. Because it's one thing to look at fixing it, and it's another thing to actually play it, right? So let's check out all the art and stuff because the art is such a big part of this game because it was done by the famous Python Angelo, who was awesome. So we'll start with the cabinet. You've got this big, let me go on the other side. You can see that one a little bit better. So you've got this big grumpy looking bulldog with the three cats peeking out from behind him. The one has Williams logos in his eye. <laughs> and they all seem fixated on this bird that's on the dog's head. So I guess what's going on is the dog's asleep and the cats are trying to sneak up on the bird. But the bird just started chirping, which is going to wake the dog up. And all the cats are scared to death that the dog's going to get after him. And then have you ever seen a better portrait of a cat? And then that. It's perfect. So on the back box, you've got another cat trying to reach up and grab the bird from the top. If you didn't see our other videos, this cabinet, this particular cabinet had a painted base. So all of this is painted, but the head had stencils on it. So I don't know if any of uh, anybody else had one like that that's half and half usually if it's all painted then it's all painted and if it's all uh, I said stencils had uh, decals on it usually if it's all painted it's the whole thing's painted or the whole thing has decals but this one has decals on the head and was the, the base of the cabinet was actually stenciled on the front you've got these two lanky looking cats sneaking around underneath the uh, coin door, bad cats. You can tell that Python had really just kind of, uh, uh, he must have studied cats at some point in his art career where he got to the point where he could draw all of their little strange things that cats do, you know. So he's got their, the way they sit, he's got the flow of their tail down just right, the way their ears perk up. He, he drew in all of their little whiskers and everything. You could tell that he had spent a lot of time studying uh, how cats look when they do what they do. So let's check out the art that's all over the play field because it'll tell you about the designers a little bit too. So down here at the bottom it says Playfield by Barry Orsler, legend. Software by Ed Suchaki. I don't know as much about him. Mechanics by Don Sondej with support by Al Cardenas, Art Clafford, and Mark Johnson. And on this side, it says, Sounds and Music by Dan Forden. Good Management Support by Walter Smoluka and Joe Jews. Cats and Dogs, Bees and Birds by the Pinball Python, who's famously up here on the back glass, but we'll get to that here in a minute. So let's look at all of the art, and then we'll read the instructions, and it'll kind of show us all the shots. So down here at the bottom, it says Bad Cats, 1989, and you've got a dog who's a nasty-looking little mongrel who has grabbed this cat by the tail, and the cat is screaming out in pain. He seemed like he just put art everywhere, like he always did. There's just stuff everywhere. And so on this side, you've got a cat where his tail is the rollover switch. And he's screaming out in pain because the mousetrap 
caught his paw. <laughs> and the cat, the, the mouse is standing there laughing at him. And so above it, you've got this little bird flying down the end lane. And on this side, you've got a little mouse or a rat coming down the end lane. And on the plastic, you've got a mouse that's singing and playing a guitar that says Dan on it for some reason. And then on this side, you have three little birds that are singing. And then in the middle, between the flippers, you have these three little kitties. So you've got this one here has got his tongue sticking out on the side. This one here looks a little more ferocious. And then you've got this cute one in the middle. <laughs> He's holding a thing that says meow again. And his Bad tail... Bad kitty. Bad kitty. His tail comes down and wraps around this uh, center post here. So then you've got the bad cat's lettering there that jumps out with the TM mark, the trademark. So the whole center of the play field is dominated by this big seafood wheel, right? Seafood table, they call it. So there's a plate in the middle of the, of the field, and that wheel in there can turn around, and then what number it lands on is whatever's indicated by this net that the cat's holding. So you've got this cat who's wearing galoshes, which I thought was hilarious. Right? And then you've got a couple cats here just watching, so their tails are intertwined together. Why not? And so they all have it's like a it's like a table, so they've all got like this one's got silverware and a drink and he's got a drink. And then there's silverware and a drink and silverware. And so you've got this cute little girl cat up here who's got her fork ready. Then the yellow one has silverware. The green one has silverware. And you've got this kind of fat looking cat laying there with a pillow behind his head and a bird on the pillow behind him. Look at his <laughs> facial expression. And then you've got this blue one over here who seems like he's really into it. What's going on? We've got this one here. He seems like he's really into it. All of the cats have like really uh, fascinated looks on their face like cats usually do. You know, like where they're, they're staring, they're completely focused on something. And the yellow cat here that's got his tail intertwined with the white one is pointing at the wheel, I guess. Let's see if he's pointing it. I guess that's all he's pointing at. Okay, and so over here on the right you have Ralphie's little doghouse. With you can see Ralphie's feet <laughs> hanging out of the front of the doghouse, where he's trying to grab this cat who has a piece of fish, has a fish that's running for his life, and then you have another bird up on the top. Over here on this plastic, through the ramp, you can see a fish with bubbles coming up. And then you've got a silhouette of a cat sitting on a ball of yarn with other balls of yarn in front of him. And on this side, you've got a red cat who is apparently messing with the bird in the bird cage. All right. And so the drop target decals over here are little milk bottles. And the drop target decals over here are little birds, similar to the bird in the cage there. And so up here on the pot bumpers, you've got a cat in a boxing match with a dog. Right, and then the other pop bumper has a little picture of a cat's face on it that you can't really even see. They kind of hid it, which is strange. That pop bumper doesn't have a light in it either. They just designed it that way. And then up here at the very top, you've got these three little cats. And so the one in the middle, his tail hangs straight down to Z, to the O. This one is tail hangs down to the Y. 
and this one its tail hang down, hangs down to the T, and then that's mimicked up on the top, T-O-Y. You can see that the fish bowl is falling over, and the, the fish is actually biting the cat on the tail, and he's screaming out in, in pain. Then on the center ramp, you've got this same, this is the fishbowl ramp, collect jackpot when lit. Right. And then you've also got this little bird on this little plastic that they put there just for giggles. They just, they just put art everywhere. And so through the ramp, you can see the fishbowl. And then over here between the pot bumpers, you can see this particularly malicious looking cat who's grilling hot dogs and chicken, I would, I would guess that is and looks very happy about it. Right? And they, you know, they do cute things like put a a bulb underneath the uh, the grill that flashes. The same thing's going on in the back box. There's a grill up here that flashes. All right. So, you have this <laughs> this little cat here. There's a shot up through there and the cat is playing darts. So he's, got, he's got a dart in his left hand. He's trying to throw up the ramp. He's holding two or three other ones in his right hand. Paul. Whatever. Oh, meow. <laughs> You've got this guy who's playing guitar. I mean, every one of these little drawings is just amazing, you know, just, just so well done. And then you've got the, this is the fish bone us. So it's a bony fish. There's a little target up here you can hit with a little cat on it. You've got a trash can up there, right? And you've got a, you've got a cat kind of coming out of that area with a fish bone in his mouth. Then you've got this big tiger ramp here. You've got a cat here on the side who is also kind of looking at the bird in the cage. But you've got this tiger ramp as they call it with a tiger or what looks like a tiger chasing a little tiny mouse up the ramp. You've got a cat up here that says, I wish I had 20 million because the bonus can get up to 20 million. And there's a little mouse over here. And then on this side, you've got the tiger's paw reaching over and grabbing the mouse. And he says, hey, why don't you pick on someone your size? So, fantastic art, in my opinion. All hand-drawn. It's everywhere. It fits the theme of the game. Really creative, just stuff. Little, little cool stuff everywhere. So, let's check out the back glass, which is even crazier. He just he went nuts on all of his stuff, but the back glass is awesome. So, Bad Cats, and it's in reflective, mirrored, mirrored uh, paint. And so... You've got this scene where it looks like there's a couple houses and then in between it is a shed and a dog house. Right? So basically the cats are out playing in the alley. So behind everything you can see some little other houses and things so it's in a neighborhood, right? So the bad cat's logo at the top is a little cat face. And then this kind of stylized tail that goes around behind everything. I don't know if that's repeated anywhere else. I guess it's just on the back glass. But. So on this left house, so we'll look at it first. So up on the roof, you've got a cat who for whatever reason has balloons tied to his tail. He's got his legs kicked up. He's got him a little beach blanket out. And he's got a little umbrella. So he's up there. And he's got sunglasses on. So he's up there tanning. 
right? And then you got this little house. So inside the house, you've got two windows. One of them, there is a dog who has ripped about half of the, the fur off the back of a cat's tail who is sliding down the drapes and looking really worried about it. And then in this window, you've got this punk looking kid with a slingshot. I wonder what he's trying to hit. I don't guess he's trying to hit anything in particular. Maybe he's trying to hit this cat. All right. And so down here below, you've got <laughs> you've got these three mice with a little hole in the ground are looking at these three cats who are <laughs> looking at the wrong hole in the ground. So they watch apparently the mice go down the hole and the mice came out of this hole and are standing back here and pointing at them. <laughs> so you've got a grill and there's a there's a light that blinks back there but there's also a flasher back there so they can get make it really bright if they want. And you've got uh, hot dogs and you've got a ham and you've got some pieces of chicken and stuff. And you've got this poor cat who ended up inside of there who has burnt his feet and he's holding his feet and screaming and the, the lid is popping off you've got this little girl here who's pushing a stroller and there's a cat in the in the baby stroller with a bandana tied around his mouth for some reason and she's trying to dangle a mouse in front of him. <laughs> and so over on this one, it says, here's Ralphie that we've been looking for on the play field. Ralphie has caught a cat, right? So he's got his balls on the cat and his dish is in front of him with a bone in it. So there is a cat on the roof dangling oh, a bone. Boy, boy dangling a bone down in front of Ralphie so he'll try to get the bone and maybe let go of the cat. They must be buddies. He's trying to spring the other cat. And then there's another cat up here trying to get up into the bird's nest and the bird's going crazy and yelling at the cat to leave his eggs alone. Leave her eggs alone. over on this side you've got a swimming pool with a couple fish in it and the one cat has hooked one of them look at his face and the other cat has a net trying to catch one he looks real serious about it too people okay then over here on this building, at the top, you got a cat, because he's a, you know, they're all bad cats, you know that, right? They're bad cats. So he's riding a skateboard down the roof. There's this jackpot uh, thing, and the jackpot up in the top has a little fish who looks very concerned because a cat is trying to climb in, which is climb, <laughs> and the way the cat is getting up there, is he's standing on this black cat who is standing on this white cat and looks <laughs> who is standing on this blue cat and so they're making it up there and so over here on the right you've got this cat who is cooking a mouse over a candle and again they've got a little light bulb in there that blinks and you've got another cat up in the fern who's watching everything. And then over here, you've got a trash can with another cat with a um, fish bone in his mouth. And you've got the tiger back behind him. So as you can see, a lot of it's kind of mirrored on the, on the play field. So like that part there is, there's the trash can. There's the cat with the fishbone, and the tiger is behind him. That's the tiger ramp. And then way over here on the right, 
you've got this. So this is Python's drawing of himself. And down here on the bottom, it curls around. He's a snake, and it says the pinball python with a flipper and a ball. Now, if you, if you read about this online, <laughs> there were several different versions of this back glass, and one of the sticking points was there were some things that maybe shouldn't have been there because Python was pretty wild laying on the ground around the trash can. So let's see what if we see anything that shouldn't be there. Hmm. Okay. So in the middle of the back box, you've got this maid, or I guess she's a maid. I don't know. What is she? Who has a broom in her hand, and you have this cat over here who's upside down right now, but that's because he's on a motor, so he spins around at parts of the game. And so behind him, you've got bird cage with the bird. You've got another broom there. You've got some, uh, some uh, you know, candles and drills and hammers and stuff stored behind them and then up here it says there are crazy cats and there are copycats right and then the woman <laughs> so she she moves too she bends over to swat the the cat right and when she does you can see that she has a tattoo Let's see if i can get to it she has a tattoo that you can see whenever she bends over of <laughs> a little butterfly. And let's see what it says on the other side of the... So over here it says Florida GNP62K and then Chicago Wilma. Is that what that does? It say Chicago? I guess it's Chicago Wilma. It says Illinois Pinball 1. Illinois CGL 902, Illinois DU 4057, and Illinois Python. What a, I mean, it just, man, they took it to the next level on all this stuff. All right, so let's read over the instructions a little bit and then we'll play it. And games are always more fun, folks, if you take the, what was that? Did you hear something? Games are always more fun if you take the time to read the uh, instructions and see how to win them or how to do good on them. Bad Cat, Skill Shot, Flashing Lane, Lights, Jet Bumpers, and Advances the Jackpot. So the Skill Shot is from down here, goes up, and it falls through one of the three cat lanes at the top, which you can see really easily by the T, the O, or the Y. So if you make that, it lights the jet bumpers and advances the jackpot. Toy lanes, which are those? Making the toy, making T-O-Y advances bonus X. So, you know, you got three lanes to roll through. If you get roll through all three of them, you made T-O-Y. And you can, that, you can uh, change the lit lane. You can change the lane with the right flipper button. Maybe the left one, too. I don't know. Linear target. Hit the linear target to light fish bonus. Garbage can shot collects the fish bonus. The five bank lights ten times fish bonus. The five bank lights ten times fish bonus. So the five bank is over here. Is that right? Oh, I see it. Okay. So here's the linear target. If you watched our earlier video, we had to rebuild that whole thing. But anyway, you hit the, you can hit this way back like that. And depending on how hard you hit it, it can make the fish bone us go up higher. So it can be 25, 50, 75, 100, or 500. And then the way you collect whatever it's set on is you make this trash can light, which says collect fish bone us, right? 
and it goes through there, lands in a little saucer, and then kicks back out. But you can light this up, which is the 10 times whatever the fish bonus is, by knocking down all five of the. So that says spots letter and lights tiger ramp. I think we're right on that, but we'll see. Five bank. That's got to be, I guess they mean if you get all of them. Okay, bird targets and milk bottle targets. Five bank lights the left ramp. Yes, and it also lights 10 times fish bonus. Consecutive ramp shots score 50, 100, unlimited million. Okay, so 50, then 100, then a million every time you make the shot if you do it consecutively. So I guess if you were good enough for that shot, and it is pretty smooth. Hell, I can do it, and I'm not that good of a shot, but if you can, if you can consecutively make that shot over and over again, you make a ton of points. On last ball, 20 million. Hmm. Oh, the 200's gone. This is a reprint of the card. The 200's missing. So what it does is, you make the shot, the first time you get 50,000 points, then it goes up. The second time you make 100,000 points, the third time 200,000, and then unlimited a million. So you make a million each time you make that shot consecutively. But on the last ball, after you do it one, two, three, four times, you can make 20 million points on that one shot, which is why the cats sing, wish I had 20 million. Three bank lights the center ramp for scores of 25, 50, 100,000 extra ball. Hmm. It says five bank lights left ramp. I wonder if you can move that up just by getting the five bank more and more and more. Let's check into that. Three bank lights the center ramp for scores of 25, 50, 100, and extra ball, which are all lit up between the ramp there. The fish bowl ramp. The fish bowl jackpot. Either bank spots letter in bad cats. So if you make either one, you get a letter in bad cats. Spelling bad cats lights the center fishbowl ramp for the jackpot. So if you get it where it says bad cats, bad cats lights um, the jackpot. So if you make the center ramp, you collect the jackpot when lit. Bulldog and seafood table. Put the ball in the bulldog's mouth when lit to spin the seafood table for either a score, a special, an extra ball, or to light the jackpot. I've done that. I don't know how you stop the seafood table. So I got to figure that out. It just kind of does its thing. I haven't been able to figure out how to stop it. One more time. One more time. I mean, it does stop, but. Last ball. Lit out lanes score curiosity spin on seafood table. So if you lose your ball out the out lane on the last ball, it'll spin the wheel one more time. One more time. And if you get an extra ball, you meow again. Whew! All right, so that was thorough, wasn't it? Man, that was thorough. So one of the things that you'll miss whenever I put up the camera is you probably won't be able to see any of the stuff on the display. This is actually an LED display. It looks really good though. But uh, it's it's just an alphanumeric, so they can't do um, they can't do pictures or anything like that. So you're not missing that. But it does do a little thing at the end when it does the match, where they basically draw a little cat on each side with the alphanumeric. So it looks kind of cool. But I'll set up the tripod and we'll play it a little bit and see if you like it. One more time. All right, folks. So maybe I'll play a couple games with the lights off and then a couple games with the lights on. Keep everybody happy. Bad 
So, as I read the instructions, I think your best bet is to, to uh, try to spell out bad cats by knocking down all the targets over and over again. Because that will light the jackpot for the center ramp. Come on, come on. Not enough. There we go. Yeah. Whoop. I'm not hitting anything, people. I got, I got one target. Nothing. All right, there's my curiosity spin. Curiosity spin. Seven. I got an extra ball. Yeah, that'll work. You want bad cat. <laughs> Nothing. Come on now. Nothing. All right, I was just getting started. You want bad cat? One more time. One more time. Bad cat. Oh, miss. Whoa. See, I got my one letter. that center post people Every time I make the Every time I make this the center ramp, it's it's increasing the value of the left ramp. They keep saying tiger ramp.
Scooby-Doo-Bo. What? The bar got hung. Come on now. Where'd it go? that center that center uh, post people it's like a third flipper spin curiosity spin One more time. I got to spin again and I got a hundred thousand points lights jackpot no oh, extra ball was empty. Woo. on top of a plastic people that wasn't good whoa <laughs> bad cats ah, it's out lanes
Oop. I had to adjust the I had to adjust the seafood wheel. It was uh it was dragging on the playfield. I didn't have it installed right. But it should spin right now. Post to the save. Oh. I'm hitting a whole lot of nothing. Still hitting a whole lot of nothing. Let's see if it spins right now. Yeah. Number one. Yeah. Bad guys. <laughs> oh, come on with these outlanes. And I've got them set narrow.
Oh, scissored it. Mm, missed. bonus is through the roof. Ah, I lost it. In my fish bonus. There it is. Oh, come on with them outlines. Curiosity spin. Come on, curiosity spin. Got that extra ball. That's what I wanted. Oh, come on. All right, folks. Well, there you go. Very cool game. I hope you enjoyed it. Kind of tough, though. I need to get better at it. I need to get my shots down a little better. One more time. <laughs> Not tonight. 
So that is Williams 1989 Bad Cats. Now, by the time you see this video, it may have slinked off to someone else's game room. We may not even have it available for sale anymore. But you can see all of the games that we do have for sale on our website. Go to lionsarcade.com. It's always up to date. I just put this up on there tonight, right before I finish this. Now, if you uh, if you want, you can come by and see us. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina. There is more than one way to skin a bad cat. We're in Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is about 15 miles south of Charlotte, North Carolina. And we've got a building full of arcade games for sale at all times. Usually not too many pinball machines, but we got about three in right now. Now, if you can't come by to see us because you're nowhere near here and you don't want to buy one, that's fine. Just subscribe to us here on YouTube, and every time we get in a new game, we will put up a new a video if it's something that we haven't filmed before, and uh, you can check it out. Make sure to give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you, and uh, leave your comments below. Let us know what you think about Bad Cats. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Leave your comments below. We'll try to respond to them, and we will see you on the next video.